Hi, I'm Corey Barker, and in this new video series, we're going to explore the newest beta release of Project Felix from Adobe. Designers want to be able to visualize how things will look in the real world. That's what Felix enables you to do. Here's an example of a USB speaker that I want to place on a table and to make into a product shot for a client's website. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the basics of how to create this scene, and along the way you'll see how to move around the Felix interface, assemble a scene, and render out the final image. So here in the Project Felix interface, first things first, let's bring a model in from the Assets panel. Go to the Assets panel and locate the USB speaker object, and just click on it and it will appear in the middle of the viewport. Once placed, you want to be able to look around the scene as well as reposition the object itself. Over on the left side, you'll find the Felix toolset, similar to what you would see in Photoshop or Illustrator. You can simply hover over these features to find out the name and the keyboard shortcuts. Let's start with the Select and Move tool. You can select the tool directly or press D or V on the keyboard. This tool allows you to reposition the object in relation to the ground plane by using the on-screen widget. Simply select the arrow of a specific axis and then click and drag to slide the object along that axis. You'll also notice the new height indicator, which indicates the distance the object is away from the ground plane. The Rotate tool allows for better positioning by letting you rotate the objects on any specific axis. Simply activate it by selecting it or pressing the letter R. Select the object you want to rotate, then simply place the cursor over the rings of the Rotate widget, then click and drag to adjust the rotation on that axis. The Scale tool allows you to uniformly scale 3D objects as a whole, or you can squash and stretch them along a specific axis. Press S to activate, and then once again use the widget to scale the object on the desired axis. Here I will add another object to the scene. Go to the Assets panel, and click on the object and drag it to the viewport. You will see a placement indicator on the ground plane. This new feature is helpful in placing new objects in a scene with other objects. Now to position this new object, you will not only need to use the Move, Rotate, and Scale tools to manipulate the object itself, but you'll also need to use the Orbit, Hand, and Zoom camera tools to change the angle of view so you can get the positioning exactly right. The Orbit tool lets you see the objects from all sides by freely rotating your angle of view around the object. Activate it by pressing 1, then just click and drag in the viewport to rotate your view around the object. The Hand tool is activated by pressing 2. This lets you pan the camera through the scene, allowing you to go up, down, left, or right in relation to the object position on the ground plane. The Zoom tool is activated by pressing 3. It allows you to move closer or further away from the object. Just simply click and drag down to zoom away from the subject, and then drag up to move in closer. By combining these camera tools with the selection tools, you can manipulate the objects within the scene from any angle to get exact positioning and proportion to the other objects quickly and easily. Let's take a closer look at the Assets panel. This panel is where you'll locate the available assets here inside Felix and from other sources like Adobe Stock. You can view all the assets at once, or filter them to just models, lights, or materials. These assets you see are built into Felix so you can access them anytime. For instance, for this second object I place in my scene, I want to add a new surface material. Just go to the Materials section and scroll through the variety of presets available. When you find the one you like, just grab it and drag it to the selected object to apply the new material. You can also add multiple materials to an object. Here I will change the appearance of the speaker object by simply dragging multiple materials to different parts of the model. You can even edit these materials further by accessing the material settings for that specific object. This we will get into more detail in the video on key techniques. The render preview, located in the lower right corner of the viewport, gives you a play-by-play -play update of the current scene. Each time you make a change, such as add a new object or modify a material, it updates to begin a small render of the scene, giving you a quick idea of how the final image will look, since things like shadows and other details don't appear until you actually render. You can enlarge this window in the viewport by clicking the Maximize button. When you do, the preview render will start automatically. Now it will be grainy at first, but gets more refined as it progresses. To return to edit mode, just click the Minimize button, 
You can also hide the preview completely by clicking the hide icon. Now the preview is constantly rendering, so be aware that it can have an effect on your processor with more complex images. Now at this point we have our main objects customized and we are ready to add the background image. To do that, simply go to the scene panel. Here is also where you'll find all the features to manage the scene like camera, lights, all the assets and materials used in the scene, and of course, the background. We'll take a closer look at these in the Key Techniques video, but for now, let's concentrate on the background. Click on it, then go to the right side of the panel and you will see the settings for background color and image. Click the folder icon to browse for a photo. Here I have a simple desktop image with space to place my custom USB speaker. Now once the image is in place, you'll want to align the object to the perspective of the photo. In some cases, Felix can do this automatically by clicking Align Camera to Image in the background settings. You can also do this manually by selecting the Horizon tool in the toolbar on the left side. When you do this, you will see a horizontal white line appear in the viewport. This is your artificial horizon. Simply grab the middle handle and drag up or down to adjust the horizon level. Now if the horizon in your photo is at an angle, just click on either one of the rotate handles on the horizon line, then click and drag to adjust. Once the horizon in the image has been established, use the camera tools in the upper left corner of the viewport to adjust the camera angle based on the new horizon. Once you have the model placed on the ground plane, you can enhance the realism of it being in the scene by matching the lighting on the object with the lighting from the background. This you can do by creating a new light based on the background image. Just go to the background settings and click create light from image. Once you do that, click adjust lighting to modify the settings. You'll see a preview of the new light image and settings for light threshold, intensity, and rotation. Notice also a setting called rotate with camera, which is on by default. This simply moves the light in relation to the angle you set the camera to. Uncheck this setting and you can freely rotate the light image around the scene using the rotation slider. You'll notice the object stays in place and just the light moves. Then adjust the light intensity to better match the overall scene. When you're ready to render the final scene, just click the render tab at the top of the interface. Over on the left side, you will see a very simple setup. All you need to do is choose a render quality, then choose a file format. You can choose either layered PSD or standard PNG file. You can also choose to have Felix autosave the render when it is complete. Just click the checkbox and give the file a name and choose a folder to save it to. Finally, click render to get it started. As I mentioned, you'll see the render start out grainy, but will get more refined as it progresses. Speaking of that, another new feature in this version is a render progress bar located under the render settings. You can more accurately gauge the time remaining on your render with this feature. You can also choose to pause or cancel the render if needed. Here you can see the final render with an amazing amount of detail created in a matter of minutes by combining 3D objects, materials, and lights to blend a 3D scene into a 2D photo. As a final touch, I just brought the image into Photoshop and added some text at the top. If you want to take a deeper dive on material editing and working with 3D assets from stock, check out the next two tutorials in this series, The Beginner's Guide to Incorporating Key Techniques and Beginner's Guide to Using Adobe Stock. For more technical help and FAQ, go to Adobe's Help X page located here. And don't miss the opportunity to provide feedback in the user voice forum located here. You can post feature requests and vote on the ideas of other Felix community members and get updates on the status of your favorite features and ideas.